and welcome back to another video. Today's topic is the anime Spy X Family. And this anime is a perfect mess, and I mean that in a good way. This show is a very good blending of parody on spy thrillers and a humorous take on the idea of family, namely the blended family, with a master spy dad who finds himself out of his debt in fatherhood, a socially awkward wife and mother who does almost everything for the new daughter, and a precocious and highly curious expert child who, well, gets up to different sorts of mischief. <laughs> it gets very, very funny. Well, I suppose I should warn you, spoilers are ahead, so watch at your own risk. You have been warned. The show starts out with the main protagonist, Lloyd Forger, getting his newest assignment from his bosses, which is to gather information on a corrupt official in another country. And to do this, he has to get find a way to get into the most prestigious school in the country. And in order to do this, the bosses and he decide the fact he needs a child in order to get closer to this corrupt official. Lloyd is a very effective master spy with a great many skills, including small arms and disguises. But he finds himself having to play father to a very precocious and curious six-year-old who very nearly blows his cover and forces him to go on a daring rescue mission to rescue her from an opposing counterintelligence. And then his daughter does get into the academy, but in order to do that, he needs a wife, so he decides to ask the first girl he meets at a tailor's shop. And before we continue, I would like to interrupt the schedule programming by asking you to please subscribe and drop the video a like and share it with your friends. And hit that bell as well so you never miss an episode. Thank you, and now back to the scheduled program. The most interesting character of the entire show is Anya Forger herself. And she's the child of the family, and she comes across as precocious and highly curious. She has a knack of getting to things, causing mischief, and occasionally causing her adoptive parents, namely her father, a small amount of grief, such as having having her father and mother and one of dad's work colleagues act out a moment from her favourite show, in which Dad must play the hero of the story to rescue her from the villain, and then do battle with Mum to achieve the rescue. And this that was her reward for getting into a high class school, of which the whole plot revolves around. And then there is Yule Forger, who is Lloyd's wife and the adopted mother of Amia. And the way she got involved in this scheme was basically by telling her brother that she had a boyfriend, which he clearly doesn't. So she asked Lloyd to, well, be her date to a party that one of her work colleagues was throwing. And Lloyd goes along with it because, well, he needs someone to play the role of Amir's mother and his wife, as the school he goes into doesn't allow single parents to enroll as children in the school. It gets kind of funny as she's a social awkward and deadly assassin, and that's in fact one of the best of her trade. And then, to get things rolling, they find themselves in a right fix as Lloyd turned up late, and then after that, they start, well, the thugs of his previous job, the thing he did this thing that before, caught up with him, because he was still driving the van that he was used for the job, and he and his, I guess, new girlfriend find themselves doing battle. So it was quite a eventful first date. And oddly enough, he proposes marriage there and then. And Yor accepts. And not only that, she moves in with him because she finds herself oddly smitten with Anya. As she meets Anya pretty much the first time they meet. And Thanks to a little bit of acting for Anya, she becomes involved too. In fact, some of the one of the best moments of the show is thus far has literally been when Yor and Lloyd discover exactly how much they care about Anya and her feelings. With Lloyd in the first episode charging into a warehouse where the villains are holding Anya hostage and having him pull for daring rescue. And then your forger being willing to kill the father of another student at the school who got in because Anya was at the top of the waiting list and basically in order for Anya to get in she had to kill him because he won't be able to get in 
with a single parent. And it gets even funnier from there. When at the school interview, one of, to get into the best school in the country, Anya finds herself being made upset by a question, and both Lloyd and Anya quickly find their emotions getting the better with him. She fixed the insulting interviewer with a death stare that would probably would have killed him outright, and flexed her fingers in a most likely getting ready to wring the loudmouth's neck. Although Lloyd outdoes himself by finding himself about to punch the man, but instead he smashed the table in the room and then told everyone there was a mosquito on the table, which he squashed by smashing the table. God, that moment is probably one of the best of the show, just because of what happened. And then, but the loudmouth does get his come up at the end. The show gets even better after that. Well, at least I think it does. In other words, the show is a perfect mess of humorous spy thrills and family comedy told in the anime and Japanese way. And it tells the story of how a family isn't just something you're born into, but something that can be found often in the most unlikely places. And the way it parodies spy thrillers is in the way anime only know, anime and manga only knows how. And then there's Lloyd's constant anxiety about the success of his mission because Anya, well, she does her own thing and being children, she mostly, of course, doesn't quite go along with the plan. Lloyd didn't even tell Anya the plan. If you ask me, this anime is well worth a watch and should you find it on our streaming service or on Bell Watch It and pick up the manga as well. You will find yourself laughing at some of the jokes and enjoying the number of heartwarming moments. So this anime is well recommended and well worth your time. Thanks for watching. You too, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.